guys, what's up? It's GBK Collectibles, and today we're going to be taking a trip into the DC Dark Multiverse with a look at The Grim Knight. Today we'll be taking a look at the DC Multiverse, The Grim Knight from McFarland Toys, of course. And this is a Batman that it, uh, recently made its appearance within uh, the Batman and Laughs comic. That was the miniseries uh, mm -hmm. after Dark Knight's Metal. Uh, so basically what you need to know about this uh, Batman is he's essentially very similar to any other Batman, any other Bruce Wayne. He saw his parents get killed, but instead he actually picked up the gun of Joe Chill and actually shot him and basically relied on firearms as opposed to... Uh, like martial arts and other gadgets and stuff like mostly of what our Batman's known as. So basically this is Batman Punisher essentially which I'm kind of okay with because it's actually kind of really cool. Uh, once again this character was created by Scott Snyder and Jock of course. Uh, they worked on both uh, the Batman and Laughs uh, miniseries I guess. Yeah the miniseries. Uh, they, they also uh, I tried to figure out what Earth this guy's from, but I couldn't find it. But he is from the Dark Multiverse, essentially. So, uh, but he didn't make an appearance in Dark Knight's Metals, of course. Uh, but like once again, he looks really, really awesome. He comes with uh, two gun like so far. As always, the packaging is really, really good on these DC Multiverse McFarlane figures. You get the the Grim Knight and the Batman, who, uh, the McFarland. Uh, McFarlane Toys on the other side, then you get all the other figures within the series, which is Wonder Woman 84, the Golden Wing Angle, the Golden Eagle suit, uh, Batman, Joker, uh, Batman from uh, Curse, I think, uh, oh god, I think it's Curse of the White Knight, it's Sean Murphy's uh, little universe that he has, uh, Joker from the same series, and Azrael from the same series, and you get this really, really cool background shot of uh, Batman, the Dark Knight, uh, the the Grim Knight, I should say, which looks really, really cool. It's really interesting and uh, really unique. It's also cool you get to see the Batman and Laughs right there. Uh, basically, his first appearance was in the Batman and Laughs uh, comic from 2018, which is really, really cool. And then you get Grim Knight on the side, and you get uh, nothing on the top. You get stuff on the bottom. So with that out of the way, let's get the Grim Knight out of the packaging. Here we have the Grim Knight out of the packaging and uh, posed up with his guns and stuff. And I think it's uh, this is really cool. I wasn't too sure about this figure at first. I mean, I really love the look. I really like the... Uh, I haven't actually read uh, The Batman and Laughs yet, which I should change. Although, I am going to plan on reading Death Metal first, of course. Uh, I mean... Dark Knight's Metal, I should say. Death Metal is a sequel. Uh, but I do plan on reading that first. But I do uh, want to read uh, The Batman Who Laughs. And man, what do I got to say about this figure? This is a really, really cool figure. I think he is really well done, really well designed. Uh, he has really cool. I really love the kind of the weapons on the back. That's also how, it, uh, how the character is drawn a lot. I do wish... Uh, I think my only complaint with this figure, though, is uh, I wish he came with like a little bit of a better, like, not better guns, but I wish he came with more guns, because you would think with a Batman who it primarily uses firearms would have a heck of a lot more guns uh, than just an MP5 and M203, but, like, at the same time, these are both really well sculpted, really well detailed, and, uh, like, just the look of him looks in general. Also, I think the Batman, this Batman actually has a cape. Uh, like, specifically, like, on his card, he has a cape, so, uh, I really wish he came with a cape, but, like, I could kind of see how that would be hard to do for, for McFarland. so they instead got this little piece right here. So, before we jump in, uh, to the figure's details and stuff, let's take a look at his accessories. He only comes with a few, but they're really cool. As I said, uh, he does come with only, like, a few accessories, so I think the big one I want to get into first is his, the guns on his back, which look really, really cool. They make the character stand out really uniquely. You've got different weapons here. Uh, there's actually a few things that I noticed when I actually picked this guy up. It's actually kind of funny. So you got, like, an AK, you got, like, an AR, which look really, really good. Uh, they're a little bent, mainly because of the plastic, but it's also interesting because he actually has a few cooler weapons, too, just because I think, uh, Todd had the... The mold so it looks like he has like this kind of rampant set it looks like a rampant seven from i think black ops 4 
a uh, hard lock from uh, Titanfall, which looks really cool, and the uh, car, uh, I think it's called the car carbine, and there's also a machete too, which is really, really funny. I, I just barely noticed that, uh, mainly just because of the molding on them. It's very, like, because I still have my uh, Jack Cooper figure with this rifle, so uh, it, was, it was really funny to see that, and the Rampant 7 looks like it was from one of the Black Ops figures that he did for Call of Duty, which is okay. Like, I, I'm not, like, bad-mouthing it at all. Like, I think it's actually really cool and really unique. It's really fun, and it makes it look a little cooler. Cooler, too. Uh, but, yeah, it, I mean, it's a, it's just one big piece of plastic, and it's easy, so let me show you. It's like you, he has a port on the back, and you just pop it in there, and it's good to go. Like that. Uh, like with all the other DC Multiverse uh, characters, he does come with a training card, of course, and the training card's really cool. I love the art. I actually wish they went with a different, uh, not not that I'm discrediting this uh, this card, but I actually like the, uh, there's a really, really cool one uh, done by, I can't remember who the guy's name is, but uh, uh, either way, I, this is actually growing on me. I actually really love it, uh, and I really love like the Batman who laughs right there, the statue right there. I, I, at first, I wasn't too crazy about the card, but at the same time, I'm like, that's really cool. It's really unique. It's, it's like kind of like a different take on Batman. This is a Batman with guns, so and he's got all his stats, of course, here here and there and everything. Uh, I do not know, I don't even think they state, like, uh, that was the thing, oh, sorry. He dropped his card. Uh, I think that was a unique thing too. They didn't uh, state, uh, I tried to look everything, even on his Wikipedia page, they don't state where he's from, which uh, multi, like, dark multiverse uh, planet he's from. So, uh, but without that way, we'll get to the, let's get to the main two. Of course, he has his grenade launcher, which is an M2, it looks like an M203, uh, which looks really, really good, really well detailed. I love McFarlane, because uh, I feel like seven inch figures, they kind of like, especially like the Marvel figures, they kind of like when you get characters that actually use weapons, like Punisher and stuff. They, they've done a good job on some of them, but like at the same time, they're Hasbro, so they have to keep it like kind of family friendly so people don't freak out, which makes sense, because uh, you don't want people freaking out. But the, the M203 looks really, really well detailed. I would have loved some paint details on it, but like at the same time, it's black. Like bat, like how Batman has pretty much everything, which makes sense. And he also comes with this MP5K, which looks really, really good, really well done, really well detailed. Uh, I kind of want to see more. I would love to see like kind of a weapons uh, expansion for uh, the Dark the Grim Knight, or a different version with different rifles. I'm actually gonna t make uh, do a test real quick with the John Wick rifle, cause uh, from Diamond Select, cause that one actually works really, really good with the spawn, so I'm actually gonna check if, see if that works. So, with all the accessories out of the way, let's get on to the Grim Knight himself. All right, and here we have the Grim Knight himself. I can't, this is just essentially Bruce Wayne, and this is, it's a really cool figure. I really love the amount of detail. I actually love the silver, uh, well, it's more of a gray kind of color on uh, the, God, what is that? The the Bat logo, which looks really, really cool. It's kind of hard to tell j just because of all the uh, straps and bandoliers here, but it looks really, really cool and really well detailed. Uh, the, my one complaint with the belt, the belt looks really, really cool, really well unique, really tacked up, multiple guns and everything. It looks really, really great. Uh, and uh, then we got the like more like guns my only complaint is like i think i would be satisfied with the gun like if these guns were removable but like much like a lot of the uh i feel like the uh, of what i've seen of the uh marvel legends that have these holes these molded in holsters they just are kind of annoying and it, it doesn't make really sense like i i think it would be cool if these guns were removable and they had that was like additional storage i think it would have been really cool because this is this is essentially a batman who his main focus is firearms, so it does definitely make sense, and he's a, he's an expert marksman, unlike uh, our Batman, unlike the Batman we all know and love. But yeah, it's just, it's really, really cool. I mean, it's really a tacked out look for Batman. I really love the look of him. Uh, really, really cool. The gauntlets are really, really cool, really interesting. Uh, and it's also cool, because while this guy relies on firearms, he's not as good as a fighter as, uh, main Earth Batman, which definitely makes sense, but yeah, he just, he looks really, really good, and it's not just, like, there's, like, black here, the cow's really, really good, the face sculpt is really, really good, like, the, the head is really great on this one, it actually solves a issue that I had with the Dark Knight's metal one, although I think this guy, 
this guy came out before that one, but like, eh, you know, it's it's okay. Um, but yeah, really, really good detailing. Like, I love the kind of scrunch up look of the pants on the sculpt. Looks really, really good. And also the, the, the bat, like the knee pads have the bat symbol, which is really, really cool, really well done. Uh, and also like the boots and everything were really, really cool. Like, yeah, and, and also, like, I, there's a lot I can say about, like, the, a lot I say about this figure. Like, he's a cool drawing. He's a really cool drawing. Uh, he actually seems like he actually has a really interesting story of why he's working with the Batman Who Laughs. I've actually saw Comic Pop. They talked about the Batman Who Laughs story, uh, the miniseries on their back issues, and I really am kind of intrigued to read the series now. Uh, although I kind of want to do, I want to read Dark Knight's Metal first, and then read... Uh, that but yeah, it just looks really really cool like holsters right here But yeah, it's kind of like it has the same kind of black color to it But like at the same time you do get some noticeable changes like you get this kind of like gun It's like almost like a gunmetal gray for the gauntlets which is really really well done And you get to see that too on the uh, knee pads which look really good knives pouches like it's essentially this is like 90s edgy Batman too. It's essentially like essentially Punisher Batman. So, with that out of the, out of the way of me gushing over the details of this figure, uh, let's uh, get into articulation and see how he is. But with the Grim Knight Batman, he can uh, not really look up too much, but like you can get the head, he looks down quite a bit. He can move his head side to side, which looks really, really good. Uh, arms move out all the way. They can, they can fully, well, they, they can fully rotate, but they are hindered due to the, uh, the guns in the back, which is okay. I don't really see him moving out. He's got double jointed elbows, which is really, really good. Something that you want from a, I think, from these new DC figures, which is really good. Uh, their joints. This one actually looks like it kicks out that far. He has an ab crunch and like, looks like a waist swivel too. Yeah, waist swivel. I can like move side to side, which looks really, really good. Uh, his hands, it's interesting, like, because I've seen these joints uh, on all, the, the, the hand joints are pretty much the same as all the DC figures, and I think really the McFarlane figures is really unique because it reminds me of a Revel Tech joint to uh, some degree. Like, you can, uh, depending on it, you can move up and down. It's like the Halo, like, kind of the older Halo figures, but I feel like this is a better system than the older Halo figures. But uh, it reminds me of a Revel Tech joint, but it does the job well, uh, likes to kick out not that far. They can actually go side to side pretty well. He has double joint knees and uh, really no ankle swivel nor uh, sw thigh swivel. He has kind of a good arc. It, once again, it's similar to the Halo joints, so which is really interesting. But uh, it makes it work out. I think this is a really cool, like the articulation for these McFarlane figures have been really, really good. I really enjoyed the new McFarlane figures. Also, I think, no, I'm like, uh, so, oh, no, 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 I'm, I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Uh, at first I thought he didn't have the uh, the toe articulation, but he does, the front toe articulation. I guess this just, yeah, that one's really stiff, so I'm not going to worry about that right now. So with that out of the way, let's get into some comparisons and see what the Grim Knight scales with. Here we have compare some figures from different companies. Of course, we have the Wicked Cool Toys Master Chief from Halo Infinite. The uh, This is actually the Toy Biz Marvel uh, Thomas Jane Punisher uh, from Toy Biz back in the day. I only compared him just due to the uh, Punisher comparison of this guy being the Punisher and the new Scout Predator that we reviewed last week, and of course, Din Chair and the Mandalorian from Hasbro. The, and this guy's from that of course. So he's, I mean, he's about normal size for a seven inch figure. Uh, these two are definitely six inch figures. They're a little bit on the smaller side. Uh, predators are always gonna be a little bit bigger, I feel like, than human figures, just cause they're, they're really big. They're like, like seven or eight feet, roughly. Uh, and also Master Chief uh, is relatively big two for for the newer cool to the newer wicked wicked cool toys proving that this is not a 6.5 figure uh but like i think he smells scales relatively good uh let's compare to right now let's compare him to some mcfarland figures uh see what how he scales here he is compared to some other mcfarlands here we have the spawn more combat spawn we have the dark knights um metal uh batman uh, aka rebirth batman and eight wonder wonder woman 84 so uh it's interesting because uh this batman is clearly well i could have his knees bent but these two uh let me check real quick hold on uh, yeah 
No, there he's uh like he's a little smaller. So he's actually a little smaller comparative to uh the regular Batman, which uh the, the this DC Rebirth Batman. I don't know if that's the case with every other Batman. This is the only uh these are actually the only two Batman uh McFarlane figures I actually have. So uh in comparison. So uh it, which doesn't quite make sense cuz technically these two are technically the same person. Like they're both Bruce Wayne from different universes, of course. This one being from the main universe, this one being from the dark multiverse, uh which is really interesting. And and uh, having them next to Spawn is actually really cool. I would actually like to see these two like fight and fight each other. I think that'd be really really cool to see. And uh, Wonder Woman's a little tall, a uh, little bit tall, but I feel like she's always a little bit taller than Batman. Here we have Grim Knight uh, posed out of the box, and I did so it does the uh, John Wick rifle that I actually have for my sp that I actually use for my Spawn figure actually works for this guy too. Uh, making sense because it's McFarlane. So, uh, overall thoughts on the Grim Knight. I think it's a really, really cool figure. Really well done uh, design figure. He looks really, really cool. I love the the weapon. Like, the only thing I think I don't like about the weapon uh, is some of the weapons he comes with because I, while I like the grenade launcher and it's really cool, I feel like the uh, they missed an opportunity of giving him, like, a rifle of some sort, like an M4 or an AK, uh, something like that, or even a sniper rifle even then because I don't feel like giving him an SMG, uh, like an mp5 makes too much sense but either either way like i'm not really complaining all too much because the mp5 looks really really cool uh probably actually gonna have him pose with this in particular but i just wanted to pose him with the uh uh, the John Wick rifle, uh, just because I think it looks really, really cool. Uh, I would ultimately, if you do like Grim Knight and you did love the uh, Batman Who Laughs story, the mini, uh, the mini series uh, by Scott Snyder and Jock, I definitely suggest picking this guy up. He's really, really cool, really well done. Uh, I think McFarlane has been doing a wonderful job with their DC figures. I'm slowly getting into him, which is. Uh, saying something about me, but I really love their superhero figures. The, the one I'm looking forward to is the uh, their Arkham Knight Batman. I've heard wonderful things about that figure. So, uh, with that out of the way, I think that is it, guys. So, if you like the video, if you like this review, or uh, make sure to hit like and subscribe and hit the little bell notification so you get notified when we upload videos like uh, figure reviews, which come out on Monday, what's in the box Wednesday, and sometimes we do some surprises on Saturday sometimes. Sometimes special episodes, which like uh, we enjoy uh also check us out on makari uh i'm gbk collectibles clearly uh and jack's pop guy he is uh he posts really some cool fun funko pops and he's also getting into football he's into football cards now so if you are into football cards uh, check him out i think he has a lot of cool stuff also make sure to check us out on makari uh me at gbk collect uh check us both out on makari and i think uh that's pretty much it so uh with that being said I hope you guys have a wonderful day and peace.